<clears throat> well, uh, I don't have a lot of time, but I got a few minutes before I got to get my son to school. So I figured I'd do this video real quick. Uh, and this is in regards to TYT's show they had last night. And I, I, I watch TYT, but I take it with a grain of salt because... Um, I mean, honestly, like, their news lately has been really slanted, and there's been a lot of speculation and, and, and less fact to their reports, but I think last night was just over the top, because she's talking about this story where it was a group of students, and they were protesting, and their teachers had, you know, were talking crap about them, and she was talking about how, you know, it, it creates this, um... It's like a toxic environment because, you know, you want your teachers to, to be unbiased and, and to treat all their students fairly. Which, if I'm not mistaken, Anna herself is a teacher. And I'm pretty sure that she probably has Trump voters as students. And it just blows my mind that she's going to call this out on, on these people, but not on herself because... I distinctly remember her calling all Trump supporters stupid, which is insane. Well, all, all women Trump supporters. Now, I did not vote for Trump. I voted for Jill Stein. But I know a lot of people that did vote for Trump, and they're not stupid. Um, actually, quite the opposite. Now, she thinks that we're stupid uh, because what Trump just talking about grabbing women by their whatever and all the disparaging remarks that he's made that he's made about women uh the, the remarks he had on abortion now yeah 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 that's pretty heinous um but if you live in west virginia um there's not much of a chance that you're going to get grabbed by the junk okay there's not much of a chance that Abortion is something that you can deal with. That's something that you can take into your own hands and, and like, try to prevent a situation where you would even need abortion, okay? So, that's not something that we're going to deal with. What we got to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is um, unemployment. We have an unemployment rate of, like, 25% here. And so, unemployment is a very real threat, and that is something that is that we have to worry about <laughs> every day. And, and, and for those people, Trump promised them that he wasn't going to send their jobs overseas, which is why a lot of people here lost their job. He promised them that he was going to bring back coal mining, which is a reason why a lot of people lost their job and lost their income. Because that's not just, when you, when you take away a coal miner's job, you're, you're not just taking away their job, you're taking away, a lot of times they have families that they support. So it's not just, you know, one person a lot of times. Um, they're worrying about their whole family. So yeah, they voted for Trump. And I am, uh, I'll, I'll take up for them. I hate Trump. I hate, I hate Trump as much as I hate Clinton because I think they're both corrupt. But, you know, a lot of people fell for the, uh, you gotta vote for the lesser to evil or, you know, and for them, Trump was the lesser to evil because he was gonna let them keep their job. And, Hillary Clinton wouldn't. Hillary Clinton bragged about putting a lot of minors out of work. And and then you want to call them stupid for not voting for her? Especially when they, when you make them feel like the only other option they have is the main party. You know? Because that, that was the whole thing that they preached against, uh, you know, voting for uh, third, third party candidates because a vote for them was a vote for Trump. Well, they felt like, you know, their, their voice wouldn't be heard or they wouldn't they didn't have any power in third party. So when they're looking at somebody that's promising to take their job away versus someone that's going to, that promises that they're gonna bring even more jobs back, well, yeah, we voted for Trump. Of, of course my state overwhelmingly voted for Trump. Especially in one of the poorest uh, counties, McDowell, they went overwhelmingly for Trump because guess what? They were a coal mining you know, county. They want their jobs back. They want to work. They're not stupid. They want to work. And so, yeah, I've been, I've, I guess I've been wanting to say this for a while because uh, 
the picture that people want to paint about these Trump voters is that they're stupid and they're ignorant and they don't know anything. They knew enough. They knew enough. And, and, and they listen when you tell them that, that they don't have any voice and they have no power in third party. They, they voted with, with the information that you gave them. So I can't understand why she's going to be, uh, why she hates Trump supporters so much. I mean, this is like on a personal level, right? Like this is, this isn't like, oh, well, you disagree with me. Like this was personal for her. This was like, I mean, I, I get it. Trump won, but I don't, I, I, I don't support Trump either. But the thing is, I don't think that people are stupid for, for voting for him. If anything, uh, I mean, like, it seems kind of stupid to vote for Hillary because what did she promise you? Did she promise you anything? Did she tell you anything? I mean, at least she has a, a track record of, of, of violence against poor people. But I don't think, I, see, I don't even think the people that voted for Clinton were stupid because they were watching a certain kind of news and, and they saw... Um, you know, this new Hitler Trump rising and they were trying to prevent, they were thinking about, you know, minorities and stuff when they were voting for Hillary. So I don't even think they were stupid. I think they were misinformed, but I wouldn't even go so far as to call them stupid. I, I think we got to stop the name calling. We got to... Because uh, what, what, what are you doing? Uh, you want people to, to come around to your side. Well, calling them stupid isn't the best way to do it. And if anything, it's, it's made me not want to watch TYT because it's, I, I think that was the real eye opener, you know? Because that's just the level of contempt that they have for people that are um, uneducated. Well, you know, I, I don't have a college education, but I know, I know enough to know when, when somebody's not going to support my beliefs and, and that's just, that's just what these people did. You know, they voted in their best interests. And, and then they want to say that she's, you know, Anna wants to say that they weren't. They were voting against their best interest. Well, no, they were. Um, so I guess that's, that's all I got to say on that one.